Hello everyone, I'm Derek Dennis, ABC News here at the Barrel Elites Alternative Investments Conference in New York City. And I'm joined by Mike McGlone, uh, commodities strategist with Bloomberg LP, uh, based in Miami, yeah. up here for the conference. Uh, talk about commodities as a strategy. What are you looking for? What are you trying to do when you talk about commodity strategy? Well, I think the best place to start is the world's most significant, widely known commodity, and that's gold. It's also one of the few assets this year, the average price this year of gold is around $1,933. That's the highest ever. And you can't say that about many assets. Like at crude oil, the average price is the next most significant commodity. The average price is just below $80 a barrel. That was first traded in 2007. So what we've had in commodities is this big pump. We had that war last year, the invasion, um, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It pumped up commodities, but they've all collapsed. Now, not collapsed, but they've dropped. And I think they're going to drop a lot further. So what I like to describe is crude oil deflation. It's dropped much from its high last year. It was around 130. It's fueling gold inflation. So when you talk about commodities, I like to say commodities, uh, gold number one. And the significance also about gold is it's just basically a hedge on the dollar. It always has been. And we, we're, there's an unlimited supply of dollars and there's a limited supply of gold. And the bottom line also is the deepest pockets on the planet are buying gold. That's central banks. The World Gold Council just pointed out that last year, some of China, Russia, some other central banks are buying a lot of gold. And I get quite bullish on gold if we want to talk about commodities. Yeah. So should we all have a, a bar of gold in our, in our safe at home? <laughs> well, that's a different story because yeah. there's the risk of, of theft. And right. I like to use the example of my mother-in-law was an immigrant from Germany. She knew World War II and they bought gold years ago and she used to hide it in her underwear drawer. I'm like, Grandma, that's kind of risky. I mean, someone might steal it, but no one knows about it. But it's an easy way for all investors to buy gold is through exchange traded funds, right. ETFs. So you just push a button, you can buy it just like you can buy an index of stocks. But the significance I see happening is we're heading towards a pretty severe, or just let's say a normal recession. And typically in recessions, gold outperforms the stock market, most notably the S&P 500. And I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, and it's usually a shorter term, and long term stocks are probably the better place, but we're way overdue for this recession. We've had significant tightening from the Federal Reserve. I think that's where things are going. That's my job as a strategist. Well, that was going to be my next question is where is gold now? How, how is gold doing? And you, you think it's sort of insulated from the ebbs and flows, the highs and lows of, of what we're seeing in the, in the markets. Yeah, so it's, it's one of the best performing assets. It's up about 10% this year, but yeah. its average price is the highest ever. Um, and I think it's just bumping up against that 2,000 resistance level in just a matter of time. It, it breaks through and goes to around 3,000. And what would be the trigger for that? Would be the Fed to stop, maybe trigger towards easing. And what's going to take for that? It's typically a recession and the stock market to go down. And that's kind of my outlook. But I'm in Bloomberg, and Bloomberg Economics expects a U.S. recession to start about a year. And yes, we've been early. You could say we've been wrong. But what's happened since these predictions were made a year ago? We've had a significant amount of deficit spending. I mean, we, we, we got up to around 8% this year in U.S. deficit spending. We've never done and spent that much money without, um, you know, gone into that much of a deficit without a recession or a war. And that's what's boosting the economy, but it's also going to be payback. And what happened is because of that, the Fed's tightened more, another 100 base points. So I think it's going to make the recession worse. And that's why in terms of commodities, my macro view is there's a time to be underweight risk assets like the stock market and overrate risk off assets like U.S. Treasuries, two year notes around 5%, T-bills are 5.4% or so, yeah. and gold is a risk off asset in that space. You know, I think people who aren't going to go into gold or aren't into crude oil are going to be looking for another investment avenue. Uh, not to give advice or anything, but what's the next rung below gold and oil. There is an alternative. Remember, okay. Tina, remember there was no alternative, yeah. but there is. And that's the simplest investment that it is that most investment managers hate because they don't make money on it. It's U.S. Treasury securities. I like to point out the one-year bill is about 5%. The two-year note was recently about 5%. So I like to say this. If you, you can buy two-year notes right now around 5%, invest in fund, Two right. notes. I'm not giving investment, I'm just pointing out a fact. And in two years, you've got 10% guaranteed, safest investment in the planet. 
my view in a normal recession is most other risk assets like the stock market might be down 20%. But your biggest risk is missing out on if it does keep going up. But in our lifetimes, it's not since early, 20, early 2000s, like 2006 or 7, you've had that alternative. So to me, that's the next rung, and they're all kind of linked. Um, and that's as simple and safe as it gets. What's the risk involved here? Uh, or is there a, a risk or a, a, a downside to going this route in terms of investing in commodities? The, uh, so that's the key thing is it's not so much so much broad commodities. I like to look at gold separately okay. um, because it's basically money. Now, other commodities I think are going down, like crude oil and copper. I'll give you one fact. The adult indicator in the room is Industrial metals. The Bloomberg Industrial Metals Index is down about 12% this year. I think it's an indication where the world economy is going. But the main risk, from what I'm pointing out with U.S. Treasuries, the whole across the board from T-bills to bonds are around 5%, around that. The main risk to overweight those investments in underweighting the stock market is missing out if the stock market goes up 20%. Sure. That's the main risk. But you're not going to lose in U.S. Treasury, and if you do, we all got a bigger problem than that. <laughs> right, right, absolutely. I mean, lose your principal. Yeah. Uh, any outlook for the future here in terms of commodities? Um, what should we be looking at? What, what, what's coming down the pike? Uh, pretty severe deflation. So I'll give you a fact. Um, the price of crude oil right now is around eighty dollars a barrel in this country. That was first traded in two thousand seven. Great. Okay, so if you said about the stock market, that's a problem. And it's been making lower highs and lower lows since the peak in 2008. So for normal recession, I think we're going to see deflation. What you see in inflation right now is around 3 or 4%. I think it's going to go towards negative. CPI, the, I'm sorry, PPI, the producer and price index, the low this year was minus 3.1. So what's the key thing is remember is never fight the Fed. The Fed has still been tightening. We're stilting towards a normal recession. Commodities, risk assets, and stocks typically go down, right. and what usually outperforms is risk-off assets like treasuries, safe assets, and gold. And that's my outlook. A year from now, when we're talking, you can say, "Mike, you're an idiot. You're wrong," and or you can say, "Wow, I made you know, I, I made five percent in the note, and the rest of the, everything else went down, and I felt safe, and I'm, I grew my hair back." <laughs> Some food for thought for sure. <laughs> Mike McClone, uh, Bloomberg LP. Commodity strategist, thanks for joining me here. All right. And thank you for watching. I'm Derek Dennis, ABC News. Uh, you are at the Barrel Elites Alternative Investments Conference. We'll have more to come.